Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another performance review, and today we're talking about the Under Armour Curry 4. More dubs. Let's get it. First things first, big shout out to the guys over at Product Basketball for sending these bad boys over. As soon as I saw the leaked images online, I have been super excited to get these on the court. This is easily the best looking curry shoe so far. Yeah, this is like, I love the sleek design. It just speaks to me, man. I love the way it looks. Just super excited to get them on the court. So thank you very much, Puerto Rico Basketball, for sending these over. Yeah, just good looking shoe. Yeah, I mean, as Flo said, definitely excited about getting them on the court. Best looking curry so far. I mean, Aaron Narva, you guys came back hard after the trolling with the curry three low. Hospital shoe. The hospital chef shoe. <laughs> hospital shoe. That. You guys came back big time with the Curry 4. These are incredible. Just by the aesthetics alone, super excited to put them on. So let's get into the performance review. So, getting straight into the shoe, the thing that stood out to both of us the most was the traction. The traction was insane. Some of the best traction of 2017. Yeah. I don't want to go as yeah. far as saying ever. Ah. Uh -huh. No. I don't want to go as far as saying ever, but the traction was sublime. Good word. Thank you. Good word. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Got you, words over here, kids, bro. Got words. Traction was incredible, man. The traction pattern reminds me of Air this... Force Ones? <laughs> no? You say Air Force Ones? Air Force Ones? No? <laughs> the, the pivot circle? That's the wrong brand, bro. Wrong brand. Get yeah, this Under Armour, bro. Yeah, but it still looks like it. Yeah, it's not Nike, but it looks like it. So the traction pattern reminds me of this ripple effect. They have these circular pivot points that basically spread around the outsole. Yeah, definitely one of the best tractions we've ever tried out for sure. That ripple effect is pretty much all over the outsole. We even also see that kind of wraparound effect as well on the heels and whatnot. So you're getting traction from every angle, which is where it needs to be. Now the translucent outsole, which normally doesn't do so well, which for some reason did extremely well on this colorway in this shoe, which is just sticky, absolutely did the trick. I don't know what compound they use or what. Um, they've been in the lab making new types of rubbers. Yep. Whatever it is, more of that, please. Don't stop. Don't stop with that. I think this is the first time ever I might even recommend a translucent outsole outdoors as well. I hear that. Because the traction was that good. The grooves are quite deep as well, so they won't wear away that quickly. 100%. But yeah, great traction, indoor, Fantastic outdoor, traction. I think you're good to go, man. 100%. So next up, we've got the fitted materials, which is actually a knitted internal sleeve with synthetic overlays. Now, the synthetic overlays is a basic, normal material, but with the knitted internal sleeve, it's a very, very nice fit. So it's super stretchy, lighter, but I wasn't a huge fan, or me personally, I wasn't a huge fan of those synthetic overlays being as basic as they are and quite stiff at the same time as well. Breaking time is needed. Breaking time Breaking time and patience. patience. Patience is a virtue. When you first try them on, you're gonna feel something that you might have not felt before. Many things. A break. But once they're breaking, it's fine. Once they're breaking, it it's fine. Breaking. After a good session, a good workout, once you really get given some work, I think you'd be all right. Yeah, I've mentioned this many times before as well, is I love these knitted sock like sleeve uppers. They feel really, really nice. One of the things I didn't like about the Curry 4 was that there was no padding around the tongue area. Mm. So when you lace them up really tightly, it pinched my foot. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Which is very uncomfortable. That was, a, that was the only thing I didn't like about the fitting materials. I would also recommend you go up half a size. True. Go up half a size, but it's not recommendation. Go up half a size, just do it. <laughs> Go up half a size or else they're uncomfortable. That's it. Plain and simple, half a size. So next up, we have the Mutter cushioning of the Curry 4 and Under Armour calls it a proprietary firm compound. Sounds confusing as hell. It's EVA. I think it's EVA. It probably is. Basically just EVA. It's basically EVA. Yeah, we know they have charged foam and micro G as well. We're not sure what it is. Neva, I'm guessing, also would have called it Micro G or um, Charge. Out the website, is it? Yeah, but it feels like EVA. It's a little bit softer than EVA. Mm. I'm not too sure if it is EVA, so we'll just call it um, PFC. PFC. <laughs> For now. <laughs> so the good thing about the PFC midsole is that actually there's not a lot of it, which gives you great court feel. So you're really, really close to the ground at all times. You're really feeling super balanced. Now, on the flip side of that, there's just not a lot of 
in bad protection either. There's none. Which, not better, better word. None, no, zero. None, zero, whatever word you want to use. Nothing. In bad protection. <laughs> There's nothing. In bad protection is unfortunately just not there. So it's a matter of what you need in your shoe. Now, us as guards or guards forwards, we definitely need that as a part of an element of our game. Whereas if you're a smaller guard, someone quicker, who's all about just that quick element of the game, less in bad protection is probably a good thing for you. So definitely a great shout. A great, great shout. So last but not least, Talking about the support of the shoe, which comes from the outrigger. We've got this midfoot rig cage across the foot, which again holds the foot in place. I would say we had a hill counter, but moving on. So the shoe itself and the support and whatnot, it's not bad. It's just it's missing a bunch of element or missing one vital element um, in the shoe, a really important element. It's just a uh, missing it so thanks to the fear material of the shoe you're getting a lot of lockdown in the forefoot and that midfoot which is really what we said earlier about those guards is kind of what they need so if you're definitely a smaller player that forefoot and that midfoot is super key to your game for sure but that lack of heel support is nothing but just a little bit annoying so our overall thoughts of the curry four is that this is the best curry shoe so far 100 it is a really great shoe for guards that like great traction low responsive cushioning and materials that are light that lock your foot down but not too much mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? really great shoe for guards great traction good cushion good support it gets the job done 100% well it gets the job done well especially for those smaller guards on the court so alright guys that's it from us but before we go massive shout out again to Pro Direct Basketball for sending these through and if you're feeling the Curry 4 more dubs or any other colorway for that matter hit the link below and Pro Direct will take care of everything you need from there of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. And of course, comment down below if you're feeling the shoe and if you picked up a pair for yourself as well. And don't forget to follow your boys on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. So that's it, guys. This is the Curry 4. More dubs. This is Pure Kicks. Let's get it.